It's your boy Grandilzy here, guys. I hope everyone is doing okay. As always, Grant is blessed by the best, by the best, 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 best. I hope everyone is doing okay. Welcome to this new episode. And today, we're gonna be talking about a club, motorcycle club. Um, as you guys may know or may not know, I'm a solo rider. Um, I ride solo. I don't. I don't ride with anyone. The only person that I ride with. Ooh, I think I got. Uh, I got to move up a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's move up a little bit. Got these guys. They're trying to show me how to, you know, drive. Welcome to Georgia. <laughs> Y'all see the driving, huh? So now I can move here. They say, if you want to leave here, you got to drive like a Georgian. No, I'm not. <laughs> but um, we're going to uh, talk about a motorcycle club. Man, look at this SRT. You see a lot of sports cars here. That's why they speed. Georgians are known for speed, man. If you, if you drive here, you leave here, and you don't speed, uh, I don't know, man. They, they, this is the only place, like I told you guys, this is the only place that uh, they, they can do a 30, uh, 85 on 35 mile zone. I, I, I kid you not. It happened all the time, all the time. They speed. And most of the cars that you see down here, they're all sports cars, man. So anyway, that was just, uh, by the way, <laughs> I have to rant a little bit. But um, yeah. We're going to talk about a, a motorcycle club, and like you guys know or may not know, I, I'm a solo rider. Um, and I think I've said this before, I'm not like a introvert or anything like that, you know. I'm a people's person, you know. Uh, I like people. People likes me, you know. It, it, everywhere I go, when someone sees me, they, they just like me, you know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? Don't let me speak like a, <laughs> like a New Yorker. But I, that, that's true. So it's not like a, I'm an introvert or anything like that. But uh, majority of the times, I like to do things myself, you know? Um, and the reason being is I don't want to put my burden on anyone, you know? Um, for example, if we got to go somewhere, okay? If, uh, if we got to go somewhere, and uh, we, we have a time, we, we're on a time crunch that we got to leave at a certain time. I don't want to be constrained like you, you got to hurry up and leave, you know. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm up to a point in my life where I'm, I'm just trying to ease it, man. I paid my dues. I done paid my dues a long time ago. And at this point, I don't like no stress. I don't want no... No, I, like anything that bothers me, anything that will make my life a little harder than already is, I erase it like that. I will take you out. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't like stress at this point, man. I done stressing myself, I stress my body, and I'm, I'm just trying to get back to be where I used to be. So anything that stress me, like, I used to have a bunch of friends. Like if I tell you guys a bunch of friends, man, I used to have a bunch of friends. But now, I don't have none. Like my family is my friends, man. And the fact that um, I don't even know anyone here and I get off of work, I come straight home. My family is my friends, man. I don't go nowhere. I don't go nowhere, man. Cause I ain't got no friends and I don't intend to have one. Um, but if I do meet a genuine one, definitely I can see myself. For example, my, my neighbor, Eric, I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning his name. Shout out to him. Shout out to uh, my brother, Eric. Um, he said he, I'm his brother, so he is my brother too. Um, and his friend, uh, I don't know if it's okay. He wanna, you know, come on this channel one day but uh, I don't want to mention his name. He is my friend too. 
you know and these all of these guys are older people like they all of them are older than i am i told you guys in my previous videos i do not take or i do not have a, a friend who is younger uh, than i am no way that was one of the biggest advice my grandma gave me and i held on to that and i think if i would have done this in my younger days man my life would have been much 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 easier but like i said we live to learn so sometimes you know we learn the hard way or god will intentionally make us learn the hard way so we can be a perfect teacher to help others period that's basically what it is that's basically what it is guys so um yeah i really don't have no friends but i like people uh, and if I say friends, like hanging out, and I don't even drink, I don't smoke, I don't do none of that, you know, am I against it? Hey, that's your life, man. He, he, you leave it. But I chose not to do certain things in my life. And most of these guys are friends that we, we call them. That's what they do. So if you really don't, you're not into that kind of life. I remember uh, my old job. We get out of work and the guys were they, they were going to a, a happy hour. I'm like, oh okay. He said, you don't know what it is? That's a you know it's, it's a thing, man. It's a thing, and uh, we have a nightlife and all that. And you see that a lot here in Atlanta. I say, you, you go for man. Yeah, I'm going home. <laughs> so um, motorcycle club, like I ride by myself. I rode with Eric, maybe two times, three times. And uh, his friend, which is my friend now, uh, he's planning to come on this channel so we can ride together. And I don't even think he's in a club, you know. They, like, old people, you know, living their life, so much energy, him and his wife. Not really, really old, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know, they have so much energy and um, yeah, he, he yeah, he's been at the, uh, the tail of the dragon, I think, four times, three times. I don't know. But, um, yeah, they want to come here. So th th those guys are my friends, my neighbor. I have two Eric's. And, um, yeah, you know, we just chill and hang out, look out for each other. You know, but as far as, you know, friends with motorcycle club, and you know, I don't do that. And the reason why I don't do that is because... I don't want no stress. I don't want to tie it to something because I don't have time in my life, okay? I have a regular job, a nine to five that I go. When I come home, I'm already tired, okay? Uh, I had some injuries about three years ago, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get better. And I have so many projects that I'm working on, so I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna find time to, to join a club where uh, I'm gonna have to tie to and we're gonna go like every week every um, Every Saturday or every I gotta go to a meeting and all that No, no, I, I, I don't think I can do that and I don't think there's anything wrong with it, you know um, And most of the time I'll be riding like down the road like for example just now and Somebody a rider will just see me and they just turn around and then just come ride with me and when we get to the next gas station or a traffic light they will start talking to me and exchange numbers say you want to call me maybe we can hang out or stuff like that and um sometimes i do i have had that happen to me a few times uh sometimes i do sometimes i don't i give my number to them too so if you take my number and if, if i don't call you you don't call me then you know so Basically, that's exactly what it is, you know, but I'm not against, um, uh, what's the, what you call, um, a motorcycle club or anything like that. Now, what I, I'm against in a group, group riding sentence, it's whenever most of these guys are riding with, um, with their friends or with, 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 with their, um, with a club you know not everybody is experienced as you know everyone we all have a different level of skills you know so what what works for me may not work for you and
and therefore you have to consider the person that you're riding with and what I see most of the time is some of these guys when they're riding together they they, they just speed okay they will speed and uh, honestly they don't care about you they expect you to catch up with them I'm gonna make it illegal right turn here guys um, yeah they expect you to um, catch up or ride like they are right and sometimes it puts you in a situation in a spot where uh, you, you ride in over your um, your abilities which goes against safety you know that, that that's not definitely not good I guess the, the point that I'm trying to make is you know if you ride with a, a, a group of people that uh, you know the speed and leave you behind and uh, try to uh, make you catch up you know for you to ride your ride uh, over your, your your ability your skills uh, I don't think it, it, it is the right thing to do and that's that's what you see most of the time like um, the, and the reason why I'm saying that is because somebody told me that I've never witnessed one before I mean I've been reading I've had my license my motorcycle license since 2006 I've been ready for for quite some time you know so I don't have a problem speeding and all doing all that kind of stuff no I don't, I don't have any problem but this is a, a guy that I met uh, on a gas station and he was telling me how uh, he, he, he belongs to this club and uh, he didn't he told me the name but he belongs to this club and um, the way you know whenever they go into an event and you know he's always left behind he just started writing about six months ago and you know pretty much complaining and what what it came down to like he is writing over his um what's my call um he's writing over his abilities his skills and that is the most dangerous thing you can ever do on these two wheels because that is when you know you call for a crash and not only crashing it can hurt you it, sometimes it can take your life so when he told me that I'm like wow really so he's uh he's looking uh he, he just quit the, the club and uh he's looking for like new friends and all that and I said wow that's that's bad man I don't think uh, so he asked me I said well I'm not from here I just moved here and um you know he's trying to explore and you know things like that he's like okay yeah maybe we can go uh for a ride uh sometime and i say why not you know uh so i gave him my number and uh he took my number like i said um he never called me and i i didn't bother to um follow up or anything like that with him you know but basically you know that's that's exactly what it is so it's still like um i, I don't wanna i don't wanna it looks like this is a neighborhood <laughs> i'm trying to talk and think at the same time yeah it looks like this is a neighborhood but anyways um it's not like i don't wanna uh, join the group or a club or anything like that like even when i bought this bike or uh, harley gave me a bunch of stuff I didn't even know they have a something called HOG hug group like Holly owners group and apparently it's a big thing I didn't know all of that and uh, they've been calling me and they've been sending me emails and I'm like yeah it's a bike night you gotta do it I'm like dude I didn't buy this bike because I want to join some kind of club or no that, that is not a reason why I, I bought a bike man I bought a bike so I can enjoy it and just have fun with it you know I don't want to you know be tied to some kind of a, a club where it becomes like um like a, a, a routine that I, I, no I don't have that luxury yet I got way too many things to do you know I have little ones that you know I can't just leave them in the house like it's a lot you know so I don't see myself you know if you I guess you are a single guy and uh I guess I, you, you don't have no family, you don't, you know. 
I guess she can do it, but you know, I'm not that type of guy, you know, so they keep sending me all these mails and um, all that kind of stuff, and I'm like, man. And after one year, I'll say 12 months, they say your membership is about to expire, you have to renew it. I'm like, guys, you can, you can let it burn, man. No offense. No offense, but I said my that was I that was my exact reaction, man. I kid you not. I said you can let that damn thing burn. I I don't care. <laughs> uh, that is, that is not the reason why I bought the bike. Period. I bought it so I can have some fun, to enjoy it, to ride it. You know, I take these bikes to work. You know, I use it for like um, you know. So. Yeah, that's my little take on the, um, you know, motorcycle club. Again, I don't have anything against it. Um, definitely not. I don't have anything against it, but uh, I just cannot see myself, you know, being part of, you know, any, any club. Uh, maybe um, someday, one day. But right now, no. I don't see myself, you know, being uh, anything like that. You see what I told you guys? How Georgians drive? There's a bad accident right down there. And I'll see if I can get some stuff on there for you guys to see. But there's some going on over there. Definitely some going on over there. Whenever they have accident here, you just ask yourself, like, how in the world this happened? Enough of the club stuff. Let's, let's rant about this place, man. I've seen some crazy accident and I just ask myself, like, how in the world this just happened? And we're about to witness one. Just last week, right down the uh, right down the road from my house, it was a bad traffic. Like there's always traffic here, guys. Always. It, it doesn't matter. Always. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. So it was a bad traffic right right uh, at my house. And I slowed down, trying to look at it. I said, like, what is going on? What's wrong with it? Well, guess what it was? It was a motorcycle. This looks like more than something is going on here. I, I don't know. I don't see no car. They probably uh, fell in the, um, they probably fell in the river. There's a river here. They probably fell in there. I don't see no cars. I don't see nothing. Yeah, I don't see no cars. I don't see nothing here. All I see is a bunch of police cars and emergency vehicles. I don't know if somebody fell in or somebody took their life or... It's a lot of stuff going on in the world. People are going through a lot of stuff, man. So you got to check up on your neighbors, your friends, if you have one. Yeah, I don't know what is going on. I can't even talk to nobody. Uh, but yeah. Uh, let's keep going. So, it was a bad accident right, uh, not too far from my house. And I'm like, what is going on? It was a motorcycle underneath a truck, a pickup truck. I say, wow. And I hope the guy is okay, you know. I hope the guy, whoever, whatever happened, I hope they're, they're okay. But, man, this place, the way they drive... I'm telling you, man, if you've ever been into Georgia, just drop a comment down below. I'm going to bash them until they get their act together. I'm going to bash them. But like I said, you see a lot of sports cars here, like a lot of supercars. So I don't know. Maybe that's the reason why. Like, I, I, I just don't know, man. I mean, you, 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 you can see, like, um... A, 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 a Toyota, um, what's the name? A, a Toyota Tasso? You, you can see like just an ordinary car that you would not even think that can go faster and they will modify it and they, man, always speeding, always. And that, what we just saw there, oh, you see that all the time. This is just nothing, man. This is just nothing. So, if you haven't watched my safety video, just go ahead and uh, watch it and just make sure that uh, you stay safe because um, 
There are a lot of crazy drivers around here, man. A lot of crazy drivers. Just go ahead and watch it and make sure you stay safe, man. All right. Thank you so much uh, for being with me for this short period of time. I'm gonna sign off. I hope you guys have a great day. Just keep riding and keep your eyes on the road. Man, this dude, signing off. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Look at that. How'd you like that? How'd you like that? How do you like that? Woohoo! All right, let's pull away from them.